Hi, I'm George, and we'll be making this automated chicken farm right here. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon when you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, so every single subscription counts right now. Really appreciate that. Take a look at my channel for a whole bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's get to this build. Okay, the automated chicken farm is pretty easy to do. I don't think it's that efficient. You can do a lot faster if you just, let's just say, go over here and set up a basic chicken ranch. You're going to have a lot of chickens real fast. This is probably the fastest way to get chickens. I'm just cheating here, of course, with these eggs. But when you have some chickens, you just click on your chickens. They'll fall in love and they'll make more chickens. And you can keep on getting a whole lot of chickens this way. There you are. And as soon as they grow up, you can then kill the chickens and then cook the chickens. You'll have your feathers and you'll have your cooked chicken. And this really is the fastest way to do this. You just come back every so often, just do that a bit more and try to get more of these chickens growing. Much faster than the farm. Now the farm has one big advantage though, and that's that it's going to keep on working even though you're not paying any attention to it. So if speed isn't an issue, then the chicken farm actually does work. I'll just show you we have some right down here. I just set this going not that long ago and we already have some cooked chicken and some feathers right there. So it's doing its job. Now the way this thing works is up on top, I'm just going to flying mode here. Up on top here we have some chickens inside right there, just a bunch of chickens. And they're wandering back and forth and they're laying some eggs. The eggs then are grabbed by these two hoppers and they're dropped into this dispenser right there. So we have eggs into the dispenser. At that point we have all this bit of redstone here. It's not that complicated, just a little bit of circuitry. What this redstone basically does is it watches for eggs dropped. When it sees an egg drop, it fires a redstone signal, kind of goes around this way, goes over to here, and then that causes the dispenser to dispense that egg. Now it shoots that egg out here. Most of the time, the eggs are just going to smash up against the glass and break. You're not going to have anything. But every so often, it's going to turn into a baby chicken. There they are. And they're just hanging out just below that lava. Actually, their eyes are in the lava, but it doesn't matter. As long as the body is below the lava, they're okay. As soon as those chickens grow up and they grow up into the lava, they then instantly cook and they drop down here into this hopper, which then feeds them into that chest right there. Fully automated which is the nice part about this. Now you can leave this thing running. It's only going to run though, as long as you're relatively close to this. So you put it near your main base and while you're doing things at your base, this is gonna be working and you're going to slowly build up a nice supply of cooked chicken and feathers. I need the feathers of course for taking care of and cleaning out that bastion remnant base I'm building. One of these days we'll have enough feathers, build enough arrows, we can go in there and clean that out. Until then, there we go. This firing right there, we just had three eggs, four eggs drop right there. So it's firing off those eggs. We should have, out of that four, I should have some more baby chickens. Maybe there's one more baby chicken in there out of those four. That's pretty good. So you're working on your base and this thing is going to be going. Kind of like, you know, your vegetables will grow. As long as you're near, they'll be okay. So it's one of those deals. All right, let's see how we can build this thing. It's actually not that difficult. There are just basic sections to it. Now I have based this basically on a couple of different ones that I found online. The best explanation for this was from Exumavoid, and I have a link for that inside of my description. You can go ahead and watch his video. It's a great video. His is a little cleaner looking than mine. I've set mine up mostly so I can really see that redstone firing back there. That's really the most interesting part of this whole thing is that redstone firing. So I kind of left mine really open here. So this is really obvious. It's mostly about that redstone. So let's see how this is done. Okay, we'll start off. We'll throw it way back here. Now it's going to take six blocks up to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a pretty good spot, so let's go back three. And right here, I'll just put in one block. Now I'm using some of this black stone that I got out of the Bastion base, theming this on nether stuff, so Bastion base. Put your dispenser right on top. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Now in the back of this, let's just make a square of blocks right there. And we need one more there and then one more on top like that. Okay, so far so good. Now let's go over here and look backwards and then I need to have a couple of things in here. need to have a redstone comparator right there and we need to have redstone repeaters right here. So the first one, let's put a repeater right there. 
I'm going to hop on top here just for a second. And then right here, I'll put down the comparator. And it's come around to this side. And I'll put a repeater right there. Now click on this little button right here, just right click, and that sets this into subtract mode, which will make this whole thing work. Okay, now we just need to have redstone around this to get this thing set up and going. We'll put that redstone in last. Okay, so far so good. That is the basic dispenser part of this. Let's now put in the collection part of this. And for that, I'll need to have the chest right here, and we have our hopper right there. So. Come forward to one, two, put your chest right there. And then come in behind and kind of go in here, grab your hopper, crouch down, click on the back side, and that puts the hopper right there. So there's the hopper. Now to make this thing work, we need to put a slab on top. So I'll crouch down and put a slab on top like that. Don't worry about that blocking out the dispenser. It still works just fine. That should get dispensed right up on top of here. So that's perfect. Okay, so far so good. Now. Let's surround this stuff with some glass. You can see it up here. We just surround the whole thing with glass even to the back side over here and over on this side as well. Okay, so let's get our glass in here. And we'll put some glass around the sides like this. There we go. And we'll do another row of glass in here. Go into flying mode again, and we'll do one more glass right around like that. Okay, that takes care of that whole section. Now the cooker is right in here, and we use our lava bucket for that. Let me bring our lava bucket in here. Let's just get the egg out of there. There's my lava bucket. Need that. I no longer need that glass. We're done with that. Before we can do this, though, I need to make sure the lava doesn't come out this way. So, I'm going to just back up just a little bit here, and we'll crouch down and put a hopper right on top. And that's going to block the lava on that side, so the lava is going to stay contained. Okay, let's now put our lava in there. And I'll just grab my lava bucket and click right there. And it puts a lava at the top side, as you can see here. If we jump down, we can see how that gives us a space right in there. Now, the reason why the lava doesn't go down is because of that slab there. That slab is taking up this whole space in here. But the baby chickens can stand inside of that space, but lava can't fill that space up. The lava has to have a full space to work in. So it gives us a little bit of a height spot right there for the chickens. Okay, so our collection is done. Our cooker is done. This is all finished back in here. Now, we need to build the top part of this. And for that, I'm going to be using the blackstone again. First, though, let's come in here and I'm going to put another hopper at the back side here. There it goes. That connects that hopper. Now you can put in more of these. It doesn't really matter. You can put as many chickens as you want above just one hopper. It's still going to work out just fine for you that way. Now, one little trick up here is you can put a carpet on top of this. It's just an aesthetic thing. You don't actually have to have that carpet, but we'll put it in. It looks good. So I'll grab that carpet. Let me just crouch and do this. There we go. Okay, there's the carpet. Now this needs to be surrounded by a bunch of blackstone. And I'll go right here and across the front, and then right down here, and there and there. So that's now surrounded by the blackstone. Now at this point, you can put a top on this if you want to. I'm just going to put in just a layer of slabs like that. And then up inside, Let's put trap doors in this just to make sure that our chickens stay in place. So I'll grab the trap door. And again, I'm going to stay themed here. Let me just grab a trap door here, like that warped trap door there. We'll just stay themed to the nether stuff. And I'll put those two trap doors in. There we go. Okay, now you can get your chickens in here any way you want to. An easy way is to open this trap door and then build a staircase off of the back side. So let's go ahead and build a nice little staircase down here. And that should do it for us. There we go. Now we can use this to attract chickens in here if we have some seeds. Chickens, of course, follow seeds. I've got a bunch of chickens running around here. Let me see if we can find one. I think I see one just right back there. I tossed a whole bunch in here just to have some going around. There's one. 
We look close enough to him and he's going to follow us. Okay, there we are. And there's two of them. Perfect. You only need two to get this thing started. We have three. We are in luck. Let's see if we can get them all inside. Oh, went too fast. Chickens are stupid, of course. There we go. So take your time. Don't go too fast. They may forget where you are and they'll stop following you. Okay. There we go. And I'll go around to the back side here. And again, chickens are pretty stupid. Just kind of bump those in. Come on, guys. Get in there. Let's try it this way. In you go. Oh, well, I got two. And that's all that we really need in there. There's three. Come on. You can do it. All right, get out of here. Okay, we have three. And I'm just going to do some seeds on them. They'll give us another chicken here pretty fast. There we go. And we'll just keep on doing that periodically and we'll get more chickens that way. So you can really fill us up with chickens. It just takes a little while to keep on doing that seed in there to fill them in. So there's our chickens inside. Now as soon as the chicken lays an egg, that egg will get dropped down into this dispenser right here. I think I saw one drop already. Let's see if we got one in there. Nope, nothing yet. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing all set up. Now for this we need to have our redstone to finish this off. I have my redstone right there, so let's get this out of the way. And there's some redstone. Now redstone's real easy. You just come right around the edge here like that. And then right here, right here, and up on top. There it is. And that's the whole circuit. Now whenever an egg falls into the hopper up here and then is put in the dispenser, the redstone circuit's going to see that. It's going to cause it to fire a signal around here, up here, and that's going to cause the dispenser to fire that egg into the cooking section. Okay, there you go. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, make sure you click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my channel for a whole bunch more Minecraft stuff. And I'll see you next time.